Hey guys, my name is Fred and today I want to talk about the dependency injection pattern or DI uh, and I'll give you a real life example using FastAPI in Python. Okay, so DI is one of my favorite pattern because it makes the code more readable and it enforces solid principles that you've seen before. It makes the code easily maintainable and test testable because classes only have one responsibility and the other services can be abstracted. What I don't like about DI is the way it's taught in school. You often see easy examples that don't really show you why you would use this pattern. And so when you get into an enterprise company, especially uh, using enterprise languages like C-sharp or Java, then you see this pattern everywhere and you finally understand it. So this is why I made this Python tutorial uh, with the help of FastAPI, the best framework I know. In our example, we have customers that store their data in different databases, uh, for instance, Salesforce or HubSpot, and we will use dependency injection to fetch the right data from the right database, depending on the customer. Now let's jump into the code. The code is accessible on GitHub. If you want the link, it's going to be in the description below. Uh, and I also put a ton of documentation on, uh, on the dependency injection pattern. So first, I'm going to show you an example. So if you know FastAPI, you know that it comes with a Swagger UI, uh, very easy, easy to use. And so when you, let's say in our case, we have a customer, we want to list all the deals of that customer. Uh, so deals that could be in Salesforce or uh, in, in HubSpot, but we don't know. So customer A is one of our customers. It's actually our best customer. Uh, and then we get the response. We got a list of deals. So we have mega deal from, from and a terrible deal that was close loss. And it all comes from Salesforce. And if we have a customer B, for example, which is also a great customer, we see now uh, that we have different deals, but they come from Upspot this time. So something happened that we fetched the right information from the right database. Of course, our example won't use uh, real data. Uh, it's, it's all mock for this uh, part. And so I'm going to jump to VS Code. All right, so now we are in VS Code and we're going to show you how you can use dependencies in your code in your fast API server. Uh, so as you probably know, you can define routes for your API. And here we're going to define a route called list deals that will uh, list deals from a customer. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, and so we have two parameters. We have the customer. So who, which customer do we care about? And the CRM manager, which is the interface to a database. Uh, so CRM manager, just for your information, uh, is an abstract class. It has two children, so Salesforce and HubSpot. And the job of the get CRM manager is to find the right one, basically. So here in our code, we can uh, inject our dependencies, which are the customer, so the right customer, and also the manager, the CRM manager, which makes our job to create this function much easier. So we know this route needs to return a deal response, which is just a list of deals, as we've saw in the example. Uh, but then we can very, very easily code this function because we know that CRM manager has a function get deals that will give you the deals. Uh, we don't need to care about, is it HubSpot, is it Salesforce? Uh, we, don't, we don't care, we don't need to care. What we care about is that uh, our job is done with this route <laughs> and we can test it easily. So when we test it, we can easily uh, replace the dependencies by mock. So we, we can mock the customer, we can mock the manager to fetch from test data instead. And so it's easily maintainable, testable. Which brings me to another topic, is how I write uh, and read code. So it might be a bit uh, more abstract, but what I like from this approach is that it really makes me uh, unaware of the complexities behind those dependencies. So if we take the get CRM manager function, for example, which is defined here, it takes a customer and it returns a CRM manager. And, uh, Maybe there's some documentation that will tell you this is the right CRM manager for this customer. But then I don't need to care anymore about which one is it. I can trust that it was the right manager. 
And I don't even really know how it made the mapping, right? <laughs> like I know there's a, an attribute called customer.crm, so it's probably somewhere in there. <laughs> All right. So then I really trust the code uh, that I'm the client of. I trust that they did their job right. Most of them did not. It's you or your colleague that coded that uh, part of the code. And so we really co trust this function just re by reading the types. Uh, so I don't need to click on this button and see what's inside. I don't need to uh, look into it. So now you've seen it. You've seen how you can do dependency injection in FastAPI in a real life use case. You can now use it in your own projects. Uh, this project is available on GitHub. The link will be in the description. As I said, if you want to install it or run it yourself, it's very easy. Uh, I use poetry, so simply install the project and run it. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to me on my website, uh, which is on my GitHub as well. All right. Well, we'll thank you with that and see you next time.